Hi everybody and welcome back to Nellie and Ruth Designs. Um, I want to show you, I'm working with some old envelopes here. These are from my great aunts and they have been sitting in a 4x6 photo album along with letters from my father's aunts um, and just old family um, vintage ephemera pieces. This dates back to 1900 and March 3rd, 1900. And this one here in particular, I made to go into the romantic journal that is going to be given away. And I wanted to show you, cause I was working with these, um, stickers here, these transparent stickers or translucent stickers, whatever you want to call them. And I thought I would show you um, when you have a larger sticker or you don't want to cover up the entire, uh, all of the wording, I just kind of wanted to show you real quick what you can do and how you can think about these. So I'm going to set that aside over here, my journal here. And I have these two vintage, um, very old, again, envelopes. And I'm creating these. This is 1910. This one is probably, this is my Aunt Fanny. This is 1907. My great Aunt Fanny is my dad's aunt. Um, they all live together. You know, you can see here Gibson Avenue, my Aunt Jenny, Gibson Avenue, my Aunt Fanny, my Grandma Nellie. They were all sisters, my Aunt May. And they all lived together. My Uncle Rant, which his name was Rensselaer. They all lived together um, at Gibson Avenue in the same home. So I want to use these in my upcoming scrapbooks. And these can definitely be used in your junk journals. Um, they will definitely fit as, um, as a pocket. You know, if you have, the, this is my narrow, this is a narrow um this is a narrow, but here's a, this one would fit perfectly as a pocket. So these, this is a great junk journal um, project and a scrapbooking project. So when I, and these are, you can see these are really old. <coughs> They're all, the glue has come off them. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but what I like about these, I wouldn't, I would definitely would not change these. I would not um, try to, you can see, I wouldn't try to straighten this out to make it longer. I like the way this is here. I love the crinkle where it's been bent and crinkled. I definitely would not try to straighten that out. I'm, I would leave it just like that. Um, I wouldn't try to repair this mend. Um, I like it just like that. It just gives it character. Um, it just shows me that it's a, a well-loved envelope. Obviously, the letter in here was probably read many times. I wish I did have the letter, but I don't. I have a few letters, um, but not all of them. So I want to show you um, a few things to think about when you have a envelope such as this, um, especially if you don't want to cover up the writing or you don't want to cover up the stamps um, and you want to use some transparent or translucent images. So I kind of went through and I picked this one. I possibly might want to use that one. I have a second envelope here I'm also going to use. And this one I may use this way. I may use it as a pocket where I can put some journaling in there um, next to the photos. So I think, you know, if you have two envelopes here, you're going to want to see which one you may want to use vertical and one you may want to use um, horizontal. This is a little bit taller flower, so I may go with this one here. Um, this one I think is a little too big. It's a little too domineering. Um, you could use this one if you wanted to. 
And I want to show you, you do not have to use the entire flower. Um, there's a lot of different ways that you can that you can use these and not you can still get the same effect um, but you don't have to cover everything up so I think maybe we'll work with this one first um, so what I would do I, I would the only thing I would do with these envelopes is I would ink the side a little bit around each edge and that's just to make it a little bit more outstanding. But that's all I would do to this. All right, so that is it. Um, and then the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to use this one on here. And I want to get have this stem on here because I think that's important. And I want to have the stem going up, all right? So I'm going to peel this. And you don't need a lot on these envelopes. And I don't think you have to put a lot of thought into them. I think just adding a couple items make them really, really pretty. And I know these are pretty hard. They're tricky to, there we go. So you do have to take, if you have a larger one, you do have to take the entire sticker off. And you're just, these are quite sticky. So you're going to want to make sure that you do have it in place. And I'm going to, I think, just work with this the stem here. And that's going to come right up like that. Okay. And you just want to carefully pull it off if it gets stuck down on something. Then what you're going to do is you're going to trim all around from the back. that right there and you're going to carefully cut these off because you're going to use these on the other side all right so you have this here coming up on this side and then you're going to have to decide um, do you want to just have, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut this off at an angle. If I had another envelope that I say I could put on here, um, I would do that. Now, something to consider, I would not put this right here like that. It's too much, all right? You're missing out on the name. I would not put it down here because again, you're missing out on the beautiful handwriting. And to me, that's very important. So that, the larger one, I'm gonna to set to the side. And then I'm going to look at this here, um, if I can use this anywhere. And I may just cut this down a little bit. And I think I will use a bit of a smaller scissor here. Okay. I have all these little sticky pieces all around my desk from playing today. And I hope everybody is able to get out and about now. Um, today we have a beautiful sunny day. Rained a little bit this morning, so it's quite wet outside. But the sun is out now and it's just beautiful. All right, so I have this little bit of leaf here. And I could put it 
here, but I don't think it looks proper there. I could put it up here, but I don't, again, I don't think it looks proper up there. I think for this one, this is all that this envelope needs. And I think it's quite lovely, just like that. Um, now I do have these little sayings from Mrs. Cog's crafts, and these are from her, um, oh gosh, I got to think. I don't know if it's from her, it's from, from her Van Gogh. Um, she has a whole Van Gogh theme in there. And I thought this would be quite nice to use. Now, even though there's blank up here, I would not want to put it up here. It's your eye just isn't attracted. Your eye immediately goes to this. You have your flower here, so it's going to come down and around. I don't want to cover up that red. And I think I would like to put that right there like that. I think that would be because you want to follow your eye as well. So I'm going to put this down here. And this talks about spring. Um, and it's quite a lovely, talks about spring and autumn, winter, what the different seasons give you when you are an artist. And I'm trying to find my pen. I can't find that now. I'll use my little bottle. Um. And I'm going to put that right about there because I want to see the van. I, that way I know it's Van Tassel. And with that one, I think that's all that you need right there. You don't need an, another stamp. You don't need anything. Um, we just have this nice little area here. So that one is done. This one here, I'm going to do horizontally. And... Again, I have this really pretty image. Now, what I'm going to do first, because I may not need to cut into another one, I'm going to look to see what maybe this one might look like on here. Um, to me, it looks kind of dull. I think we need a little bit more color, so I'm going to set that aside. And I did pick out this rose but again is the is the red competing with the envelopes that's another another thing you can look at i think yellow is too yellow does not go with the vintage color we could try a blue but i think we need a little bit more i don't like that here's another blue maybe a little bit taller no i think we need we need some sort of spray um, and again, I think we need an old rose style. So I think everything else is pretty, it's, I don't, I just don't think it's going to go. This is too dark. Um, I think the pinks, they're a little too light. So I'm going to continue, uh, with this one here. And again, I do kind of like this. I'm going to trim around a little bit more just here because I want to have that um, number pop. I want this number to pop through there. And I don't know what my, my little girl is barking at here. I think she sees the neighbor outside or, the, yeah, the neighbor across the street is doing something with his truck. All right, so you see how I cut that out so I can still get that 24 in there. So we're going to get this on here. Okay. All right. Okay. All right, so that's on there, and then we're going to cut around this again. And I'm going to 
get that up before it sticks. All right, and that's where some of these little greenery pieces can come in. And that's what I did with this one. I put this here and then I cut, obviously I took the other half and put that over here. Um, so now what I might want to do first is take a little bit of this trim, because if I decide to have this as a pocket, I might want to have something on top here. So this would be kind of pretty along here. And I think that I'm going to do that. And I'm going to run just a light bead of this three in one down on here. Okay. And we'll get this on there. This is tough because it's all twisty twirly. Okay. Okay. Okay, dokie. I think there's something very, um, very pretty and kind of romantic about these envelopes um, with them being old. And even if they aren't your relatives that you are working with and you're at a flea market and you find a, a packet of old envelopes with beautiful, beautiful handwriting on them, grab them because Number one, cursive is, I think, becoming a thing of the past. And um, it's something, this beautiful handwriting was not passed down. My father had beautiful penmanship and wrote like this. Um, but you just don't, you don't see it much anymore. Because they don't, they don't concentrate on it. So now we have this. It, this could be enough. I could. Um, decide to put a a saying but again I would be covering up what's to me what is important and I, I really don't want to do that I want to see the address of where my relatives lived so I could take this little tiny piece of um, of course this is coming up I won't use that where's another little now this here is a little bit of a leaf and I could put this right here, which I think I will. I'm going to put this right here just to add a little something there, those leaves. And that's it. I think that's all, again, I think that's all that this requires. Um, if I wanted to, I could add a, I could add a eyelet um, to the side here. But again, I wouldn't do that. I don't know if the paper would hold up. Um, let me just get my eyelets. But that would be kind of pretty there, wouldn't it? And I would use maybe a black one. Like a, a gold tone. Yeah, I wouldn't use that color. I don't think I would use gold because I just don't think the gold would go let's see how about a brass or a copper that's brass i just had this is copper now the copper goes into the it blends in with the white too much white is too outstanding did i try the silver no that doesn't work. Um, but maybe one of my other little, pretty little things would work there. Let me just grab that and I'll be right back. I pulled out my little, all of my little 
brads here. These are really decorative, very pretty little brads that I use every now and then. And I did find this one, and I think I am going to use this, right? I'm going to gather this because I don't like the way that this is just hanging down here like this. So I'm going to make a little hole right here, and I'm going to gather this. And again, I have to be careful because it is old paper. But I'm going to gather that up. I'm going to put it right under there. And I'm just going to turn this a little bit. And I'm going to open these up. And, and I think that'll, that'll be fine. I'm going to just take a little tiny bit. I do like that there. It kind of pulls it together with the stamp. And I'm just going to put a little tiny dab of glue there just to kind of hold this down because this keeps popping up. There. There. So that is it. That's what I have for you today. I just wanted to share. I had made this for the journal and I just, I got thinking about um, where I was positioning these and how you can use them in different ways. You don't have to cover the whole envelope and I thought I would share that with you, give you a little something to think about. Um, this here I'm going to glue down because I don't want this to be ripped off because I really like the way that looks there. So I'm just going to glue that and I'm going to glue this here so it doesn't rip off. Um, and that is it. This will go into my journal as a horizontal pocket and then this will just be an accent piece um, for another photo to put maybe the photo up against here or whatever and that is it so I'm really happy that you joined in today to take a look at um, what I had for you and certainly if you like this video I'd love to have you give me a thumbs up and Tell me what you like most about it. Do you like the fact that they're vintage? Do you like the fact that, you know, it still has the handwriting on them, the old stamps? Um, but again, if you get to go to a flea market or a garage sale, you know, of a, an estate sale where someone has, has passed and you know that they have correspondence, um, take a look and see what they have because these are just wonderful items to work with. So thank you, everybody, and I will see you down the road. Alrighty, bye-bye.